Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This video is how to do a bibliography. A bibliography is important because that is what we give credit for with the work we've done. So we're going to go up here and we're going to start with our notes. Now, before when we did notes, I gave you the uh, sources and you'd say from the PowerPoint. We're not doing that now. You went out and found your own sources. So we have to give credit to this because we didn't just figure this out. We had to go on the internet and find it. And we, then we had to write it out. Even though we changed the words and when we put it in our Satomer here, we tweaked it and added different words to make sure it made sense. And remember, we have to be able to explain all of this. So hopefully it makes sense to you because if it doesn't, you need to switch it because you will be explaining it in class. Okay, we got to give this credit. So we're going to go here. We're going to go up here to our notes and I'm going to highlight my first URL. And I'm going to do that. And then I am going to go here and I'm going to type in bib me. That is what we're going to use. Bib me MLA. We're going to click there. I'm using a website. Yes, I am. I'm going to put in the website I used right there and I'm going to look for it. It's going to say, is this what you wanted? And the answer is, yes, it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit select. Is this what it is right here? Yes, it is. I'm going to click that. And this is what they give me. Okay. Looks good so far. So now I'm going to type in today is the 19th. Month is October, and my year is 2021. Happy with it? Yep, I like it. And it's going to give me this beer hall putsch. So I like this. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go here. Now, what I've done is I literally went into my Google Drive typed in the word bibliography, wrote it in here. I put question one, and then I had already previously, and I'll show what I did. I just did this, boom. But then I went back through it, and I got rid of the background. And I just kind of made it bigger. I made it dark black. I made it bigger. I got rid of the background. So I already did them both. I got the one from Academic Kids and the ones from Kids Kittle, which is where I got this both from. And I did it both by going to BibMe. So then I go back up here and I would put my next website on there and I do the exact same thing. I click it down and it would give me the next one, which would be this one right here. I would highlight it. I would go back here. I would put it right there. I would get rid of the background. I would make it bigger, bolder, and I would accent it. And then I would put question one because these are the two websites I used to get this information. So question one came from here, which is why in my bibliography, I have question one. Now with question two, which I didn't do because you know how to do it. And question three, which I didn't do because you know how to do it. Those, of course, would go into bib me and you would put them right here for question two and then you make a heading question three and put them there so now that you've done that you are going to highlight this make a copy and we're going to go to the very bottom where it says geography or bibliography link bibliography link and i've already done it you go up here and you click this and you put it right there and then of course it hyperlinks it. And when I click on this, I'm able to get to your bibliography and know where your information came from. So if I have any clues when I'm grading your paper, I simply go here and it takes me to your website so I can look for your information and make sure you copied it right and that you wrote about it right. Okay, so that is what we're doing. Bibliography, which we got from here, 
which we originally got from Bibme. And it originally came from our notes when we looked up the answers to our question, what was the beer hall putsch? And by the way, putsch means overthrow or coup d'etat in German. And that means a forced exercise in force. Okay, just in case you're curious. All right, thanks. Let me know if you need any help.